My name is Alfred Jock. I'm a lacrosse stick maker. I'm an Onondaga Turtle Clan. We're here at my shop at Onondaga Nation, where I make my lacrosse sticks. Number one, why I still make lacrosse sticks. Why I do that is for our people. The people of the Haudenosaunee, the Onondagas here, we use our sticks to play our traditional game. You know, with religious ceremony, we play our game our way with our ball and our stick. It's such a part of our whole culture, our religion, who we are as a people. That's the main reason why I continue to make wooden sticks is for our people. To make a lacrosse stick the old-fashioned way, you go in the woods, you select a straight grain, straight, clean hickory tree. I like shag bark. You know, 12, 14 inches diameter. It's about 140 years old. You take the bottom eight feet of that tree with an ax, a club, and wedges, you split this lengthwise into rails. This wood is usually cut when it's uh, moist and fresh and green, and it won't bend. So you have to dry it for about a month and a half. And then you put it in a steamer, and you bend it around a form. The form is the shape of the inside of the stick. So there's a holder, you put it in the holder, and you bend it all the way around by hand after about 40 minutes steam. You put a wire on to hold it and you take it right off the bender. Cut the bark off where the third bend is going to be. And it sits like that for a minimum of six months. So after that six months, you steam it and you put the third bend in. It's put into a holder that holds the bend till it sets. It'll stay there maybe a week or two. When wood dries, it gets a curl to it. So you actually cut it along the curl for strength so you don't cut cross grain. Then you, on the carving bench with the drill, two-handed draw shave, you carve the shape of the head, the acrostic shape on the head part. Then you cut the handle shape, the octagon shape of the handle, and usually I balance it again. When that's stabilized and it won't warp anymore, then I freehand drill all the holes. I don't mark holes. I don't have a template that says where the hole is going to be. I just do them all freehand. You know, after 53 years, I know where they belong. You know, so after the holes are drilled, put it on the belt sander. You keep switching positions and directions to get the whole thing sanded. And once it's all sanded, I use a hand sandpaper. Then I put my logo on it. I burn in my logo. I sign it and date the stick and shellac it. When the stick is dry from the shellac, I put a side nylon on, and I put the four leathers on, and I, I weave in the gut wall, and then I put the webbing on it. And then I put a, a purple throwing string on it, and the stick is done. Everything I do has purpose to the end product. Every bit I do purpose to the end product. Every step of the way, purpose to the end product. Do it right. <laughs>